This video is brought to you by World Press Photo Award winner Wolfgang Peter Geller and Sunbounce.com. All right, this first spot that we're going to shoot, we kind of picked these uh, these dry hills because I think it's going to look really sweet uh, with our couple that we're working with today. The uh, scene that I want to do right now is I want to get, using a polarizer, I'm going to get a dark, deep blue sky background and uh, against the yellow grass, those two colors, dark yellow, um, dark blue and, and deep yellow, I think are going to look really, really cool, pop really well and they'll stand out against the sky. So I'm looking for a location where I have the sky in the background so I have a horizon line with no objects and distractions. So what I'm doing here with this circular polarizer is I'm trying to find out uh, where the sky is going to be darkest with the polarizer because I want to have the light sun um, uh, coming in, hitting the grass, making that bright. I want to make the sky dark because I want them to pop out and be brighter than the background, be brighter than everything else. I want to take a great location at a possibly not optimal time of day and make this shot, make this everything look great. So, that's what I'm trying to do here, and uh, we're using our couple, Jake and Nisha, in this scene to kind of create something that looks sweet. So we're going to do a little bit more walking back, but the, what we want to do here is get them engaging and interacting. We're just going to use the sun, sun bounce for this shot, uh, and I'm going to have them holding hands. Jake, you're leading Nish. Uh, Nisha is going to be on this downhill side holding your other hand. Actually, no, I like that, just like that. Now you're kind of engaging 27.5% of your time you're looking forward. 48% uh, of the time you're looking at each other. And 74% of the time you're looking, um, what? You're looking happy. And 1% of the time you're looking down. 0.5% of the time you're looking where you're going to place your foot. When we're shooting, I want to take advantage of both the in-between times because as a photojournalistic lifestyle photographer, I want to capture those in-between times and not just the pose, not just the, hey, here we are standing here in a meadow shot. I want to get the in-betweens and all those things. So I'll constantly remind them, hold, hold hands with each other, engage while we're walking. You know, you're, this whole session is a lifestyle session. It's a day in the life. It's not a here we are for real quick pose for a while and then relax. You know, it should be all relaxed, all fun, all candid. All right, so I'm gonna do a couple more shots of you guys walking. A bad decision on my part. Now I'm paying for my failure. I regret I ever broke your heart. Won't you pardon me? a little bit, you know, to get them excited. Just a spice of showing them images so that they get excited and they're kind of amped to keep going. And that way they build trust because this day is all about trust, 100%. It's not a lot of photographers. When I was shooting years ago, I used to think this day was all about getting the images. It's not. I would rather get build trust them and have a great experience than I would just getting, um, you know, perfect images. So it's all about trust. It's all about the relationship building during the casual portrait session. Me. Oh, won't you pardon me? I'm guilty in the first degree. So if you feel like at any time you get nervous, just say, relax for a second. Some two things you can do to kind of break that tension is just a tickler. 
That's like the easiest thing. Okay. Um, but mostly, I just want you to talk about some things that make you laugh. Like, just kind of, I'll give you scenarios that way. You're focused more on a scenario than anything else. So. But this is really just you guys. Okay. Like, that's my goal is to just make it so that you guys are being yourselves. So let's start. We're gonna do some shots in the car, and then we're gonna do some shots of you guys getting ready, some stuff inside, and then we're gonna go to two different locations outside. Yeah, and then we'll, we have two hours. Two and, two and a half hours. So. to diffuse the light that's coming in, but it's actually going to add light into all different areas. Rather than just one harsh sunlight direction, the light's hitting this, and then it's going every which way, which is kind of cool. So the light that's going to come inside is going to be this real diffused, real soft light. Uh, for here, we're going to kind of add light. Right in the pop in the side of her face, you see that? So what we were doing here with this shot is we had uh, a couple flashes set up um, and then they're bouncing into uh, uh, a reflector to give a broad light. So we're basically we're taking over here a three inch light source and making it into a three foot light source. And what that does is diffuses, broadens the light and just gives a lot softer feel. Uh, we had a key light up really high, uh, which was in the shot as well. Um, and basically what we wanted to do is create even light on their face but we had it from a distance away of about 20 feet, 25 feet. Uh, what that was doing was creating kind of like a unique um, 
uh, light that was lighting them up, but I also was shooting with probably anywhere from a sixth to a twentieth of a second uh, shutter speed. And that slow shutter speed enabled me to get the uh, backlight of the sunset uh, and the kind of ambient light in the background in the same shot. So what we do is we had them walk several different, several times up along the side of the car. The reason why we did that is that um, since we were shooting with the risky shutter speeds, some of them weren't going to come out. And so I knew that if I had them walk slow enough, I would get enough, uh, enough of them to come in focus with the shutter speed capturing them um, tack sharp, as well as having the car headlights on from both the opposite car and this car made, give it a little, gave it a little more of a dynamic feel of real life. And basically what we wanted to do is create lifestyle. So we got the shots of them sitting on the hood. We got the shots of them earlier, um, kind of with the vineyard in the perspective, and the last shots we got of them walking next to the car, that that way we got a little bit of random, a little bit of portrait, and a little bit of lifestyle, kind of mixing everything up. <laughs> so um, I used these wireless transmitters with the wireless receiver, which is on um, the flash here, so that I was popping these, as you can see these two flashes right here. With the simple pop, we're able to light it up and uh, have a consistent light. Uh, all of the flashes were at equal power, all, all uh, shooting um, you know, <clears throat> at 1 32nd power. But uh, if you cruise over to one of our workshops, we'll teach you so much more about wireless flash using with ambient light to get some really sweet shots. So that pretty much concludes our shoot today, shooting in San Luis Obispo, Southern California, shooting in the vineyards, throughout town, getting some cool stuff. Uh, thank you again for uh, coming out and helping today. It was a pleasure. Uh, our, our team photographed uh, their wedding earlier last year. This video is brought to you by World Press Photo Award winner Wolfgang Peter Geller and Sunbounce.com.